What are emotional anchors in immersive storytelling? Emotional anchors are a really great way for you to think about how each experience of your world should feel. So if you think about, if you're creating a, a land, let's say, and you have an overarching theme of what this land is about, and like the emotional ro roller coaster that I talk about, what is it about each of these places that makes you feel all those different emotions? So there might be a particular experience that's about um, mystery, that's about, um, you know, having that sense of discovering something mysterious. And perhaps that is the emotional anchor of that place, is it's mysterious. It's capturing that sense of you wanting to find out the secrets of a place. And what does that look like? How does that manifest into something physical? It might be, uh, there might be another area where it's all about love and friendship and companionship. And what does that look like in your world, in your, in your environment? And it's, and what kind of love is, is it? What kind of friendship is it? So when you think about all these different emotional anchors in your land or in your environment, um, it's a really great way for you to ensure that you have that spectrum of emotions that is felt throughout uh, your entire story world and experience. And, you know, there might be some areas that are, um, you know, light touches of emotion. It could just be like a moment of humor, uh, human, uh, a moment of like um, playfulness, let's say. And so those emotional anchors are a way for your audience members. If you think about like watching a movie or reading a book, there are moments where you laugh out loud. There are moments where you cry. So we're just laying that out in a physical world, right? Like what does that look like? And having those emotional anchors there, um, not knowing where your audience member necessarily might go to first as well. But if you can ensure that everyone does for the most part, in, go to all of these emotional anchors and feel it, then they will have a more cohesive experience to your world that you've set up and to ensure that they go through that whole emotional roller coaster of your, of your experience. Why do you compare emotional anchors to plot points? Like a good story um, in a movie or a book, there's... Plot points are usually um, the, the moments in the story where things, something happens, right? Something big happens and it changes the course of the hero's journey. Um, so when you think about emotional anchors and depending on whether it's a linear experience or a non-linear one, you have to think about them as plot points as well. They are those significant moments in the story where perhaps the course of the hero's journey changes. It, it alters based on um, what they decide to do, the action that they take. So if you're looking at your visitor as the hero of the journey, they may decide to come to this particular place, the plot point where they experience that particular emotional anchor and then move on to the next thing, to the next thing, because you want to create this, this journey of sorts where we do have those peaks and valleys of the, um, the arc of the experience for that hero. So in a way, it, I, I uh, compare it to the more traditional form of storytelling in which we do have plot points. Emotional anchors are a really great way to think about um, it as a plot point to your particular experience. How do you create emotional anchors? I think it really depends, really understanding um, what, it, what emotion you're trying to capture for your audience and really um, understanding if it's, you know, how it's crucial to the story of the experience. So it's, it's hard to talk about it when we're talk, not talking about something that's specific, a project or a story or a world. But you really want to capture that um, emotion in your visitor in which they can feel like they've progressed or that they're learning something or they're discovering something about themselves or the world 
or another character or the plot or the story arc of the journey. It's about revealing layers to not only the, the hero themselves, but as I mentioned, like to other characters or to the world. And in each discovery of these, uh, in each emotional anchors, it's a really great way to reveal different sides of the story um, to make it more complex, to make it more layered. So if you have an experience that's just one emotional beat and tone, it feels very flat. You think about any song, you know, or any musical score. There are no, you know, great songs out there that's just one note, right? Um, so how do you create that textured, that multi-layered uh, narrative and emotional beats where it does reveal something else about the world or the environment that is surprising and that reveals an emotion that you didn't think you would have about a particular circumstance or a situation or even a character, right? Um, so it's a really great tool for you to think about how you can uh, create something that is very textural, that feels very... Um, intentional in its design and how you can layer in uh, more, you know, storylines, story like or feelings to a place rather than just the one, the one note of, uh, 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 of an emotion.